Welcome back on my channel. Last video was about my race in Edmonton and right now we are back home and I'm already in the middle of a training block leading towards the Collins Cup. Coming back from Edmonton was not as easy as expected. My body really seemed to struggle with the race, the travel, the poor sleep I got over the whole week and then of course also over the two travel days. I felt like something is wrong with my body. Fortunately, I track all my sleep and daily data with my WHOOP and here I show you some screenshots from <laughs> the days um, after the race. So my recovery was really poor, my sleep was really bad. You see that I have like only a few hours of sleep and of course the travel and time shift didn't help. Then we got back home and I started to focus on real recovery. So first step was sleeping in my own bed and you can see like I'm really a person that likes to be in a place where I know everything and where I feel comfortable and that's luckily uh, how I feel back home. So yeah, my recovery went up and HIV went up. So the signs were quite good for starting into some training again. But unfortunately, my body didn't feel ready yet. So we plan to use the first half of my menstrual cycle for some intense training. Usually I really get like a recovery and performance boost during this time of the month. But even though my WHOOP data look quite good and as like my central nervous system and body is recovered, um, I really didn't feel good. So I just was super tired and I had heavy legs while trying to do the workouts and just really didn't feel like myself. So there was like a little bit of a conflict there. And of course you can imagine I had some discussions with Philip because I always struggle like when I can't really rely on uh, my body and you never know how long it will take until you feel good again. But after focusing on sleep, hydration, good nutrition and don't overdoing it during the training, I really felt like the knot is broken and uh, I felt a lot better. So we were able to start into a new training block leading towards the Collins Cup and of course the big goal towards Hawaii, which is only eight weeks away from now. As Laura explained, we had to do a little switch. So we decided to take it a little easier. We just went to a 22 to 24 hour training week and we had a big focus on developing the bike. Conditions in summer are perfect around our house. Laura loves the surrounding, it's called Odenwald. And there are a lot of lonesome country roads where she can train. It's undulating terrain uh, with some climbs. She did a lot of work in this hilly terrain and I spiced it up with some hard intervals for her, uh, focusing on Collins Cup and then getting as efficient as possible towards Kona. In swimming, we are pretty lucky when we are at home because the outdoor pool is just around the corner. You might have seen Laura is swimming in her wetsuit. This is because she is very low in body fat and she's getting cold with just 24 degrees in this pool. And from my side, I want her to swim as much as possible without her wetsuit. So we had the deal to swim all the hard sets without the wetsuit and the long endurance set, she was swimming with the wetsuit or we sometimes combined it like 2K with the wetsuit and then drop it off. And we have seen in Edmonton that there's still a way to go, especially when we are looking on the Hawaii swim. So we did our homework. For running, we can start right from our front door. We used the different options to have a good variation in Laura's training. For example, the soft surface in the forest around the corner. She's doing all her endurance runs. Then we have a fart leg run every week, which is close to the river where she can 
work on her speed skills like for longer intervals that means longer than three minutes i think she really likes the session um, we do this session mainly with the carbon insole sh uh, shoes so she can do it really fast and this is like very similar to racing and then yeah every friday we have our track set here the track set was yeah a, a lot of hundreds then we did 400s and of course the long run every week So my next race will be the Collins Cup. For those of you who are not familiar with what the Collins Cup is, the Collins Cup is a race organized by the Professional Triathletes Organization. So there is the PTO Tour. The first race was Edmonton and the second one is the Collins Cup. And there's another one um, later on in September in Dallas, which will be the US Championships. So the Collins Cup is not a usual triathlon race it's a little bit different because we will be racing as teams there are three teams it's team europe team international and team usa and there's always three at least racing each other so at the moment i have no idea who i will be racing against but i will try to collect points for team europe and at the end, the team who has collected the most points will win the Collins Cup. I'm part of Team Europe and I will be racing with some of the best athletes in the world. So Team Europe on the female side includes Daniela Rief, Kat Matthews, Anna Haug, Nicola Spirik, Holly Lawrence and myself. You can also check out the website to see who's part of the other teams and also who's part on the male side. I'm sure it will be a very exciting event to watch. You can follow it on Eurosport or over the PTO app. And I'm really looking forward to jump into this new kind of experience. Usually triathlon is um, yeah, a solo single effort sport, but this time I will be competing for a team. So yeah, I'm looking forward to a new challenge. For me personally, uh, it means a lot to bring one of my athletes into the Collins Cup. I think this shows that you belong to an elite of the sport and I'm really looking forward personally uh, to see all these world class, class athletes coming together for this specific event. I think there will be a good spirit. Straight after the Collins Cup we will be heading back to the mountains to do some more work. It will be the final camp before the Ironman at Hawaii. And yeah, I can't wait to go back to high altitude to hopefully get some proper training in. So thank you again for watching this video and I hope you like to get a little bit of an insight into yeah, my last weeks. And you also got to see that, yeah, even I'm struggling with <laughs> some kind of stuff. You never know what's going on but uh, most important, you make best out of it. So I think that's what I did this time. And yeah, hopefully I can bring you some more content soon. So make sure to like and subscribe and see you next time. Yeah.